hello all players. Just want to let you know that I'm here in beautiful Bedford, New York here today. And uh, just here with the inventor and founder of Slam Master, practice training paddles, Gordon Gebert. And just want to show you how we can do a proper warm up today with, with this paddle. And also I, I want to incorporate what I usually talk about in my clinics, something called a progressive warm up. Okay, progressive warm up is basically when we have two players at the kitchen. Of course, today we're not going to have the other player because we just have the training paddle. We don't need another player with the with the Slam Master uh, pickleball training paddle. So I'm going to show you a little demonstration here. We're going to just dink here, okay? And you can start with a little bounce in front of you and a pendulum motion. Feet are wider than our shoulders. And I'm just going to work on some dinks. Remember, we don't want that ball to go too far, so you're not going to be swinging at this. Just going to be pushing the ball out in front of us. Our grip pressure, remember, between a 2 to 3 out of 10 on your paddle, your grip pressure is light. We also want to work on something with this training paddle called the recoil. So we want to bring it back a little bit each time, just slightly back to recoil the ball back to you. Good change to the backhand, just pushing out, feet wider than the shoulders. Try to bounce a little bit between shots. Bounce to get ready. Bounce. And also reload your paddle. What does that mean? The paddle gets up just in case they shoot a ball to you. Do not have your paddle down after each shot. Alright, so if you get really comfortable doing the dinking, right down the line with your partner. Well, again, we don't have a partner. The ball's coming right back to us with the practice training paddle. We can move two steps back now and try something called a long dink shot. I'm gonna go start here like this. Just push the ball out in front of me. Remember our grip pressure's light. So we want that ball just to drop over the net so that ball is unattackable for our opponent or practice partner. We do not want to give them an attackable ball. So remember our grip pressure is light, pendulum motion. Still see the pendulum motion here. As you see, I progressed about two or three steps back. Now I went to the long dinking area. I'm going to progress back another two steps. This is part of our progressive warm up, okay? This is a nice practice training to really work on your game. It's helped me out the last four or five weeks when I haven't been able to get practice partners with everything going on right now. It's hard to find practice partners or sometimes even court. So it's really helped my speed, stamina, and strength. And it's also worked a lot on my hand-eye coordination. All right, let's move back another two more steps. All right, so just, just in case, like I didn't start that, that well, you can just catch it and start it again. Start it again. Here we go. This is nice. Working on a long dink, this is good. Here we go. Now we can move back another two steps. As I learned from some of the top pros in the game, the long, the third shot drop is nothing but a long dink shot. So, we're all the way back here at the baseline, and we're doing third shot drops, pushing out. I understand that the ball cannot physically, if this ball was off the string right now, where it's going, it's going to drop before the net. I understand that. So what we'll have to have is a little creativity on the third shot drop. But if you have your arc going here and your apex is right about here, that still, with a normal ball, will be dropping into the unattackable area for your opponent, okay? So, yes, on the third shot drop, you're gonna have to use a little bit of creativity too. But those are gonna drop nicely, I can tell. I can tell where the apex is, I can tell. They're gonna drop nicely into the kitchen. 
middle of your paddle. Watch the ball each time it's in the middle of the paddle. Keep your head down. Bowl. Extend your arm. The third shot drop is nothing more than an under, out, and up stroke. You have to have all three ingredients for that ball to do well and get, get it to where you want it to drop in the kitchen. So we want under, out, and then up, okay? All right, so what else can you do with this training device? You can also do something called drive shots, okay? You drop the, you turn your body to your side legs. Let's start with the forehand. Drop it, drop it in front of you. I would say about four to six inches in front of you, maybe six, seven inches here. And just work on your, your forehand drive shot. Power comes back. The ball is going to recall back to you quicker now. So you really have to load up quicker. Use your other hand maybe to give you some stability too and to find the ball each time. Keep your feet moving, tap your feet a little bit. Tap, tap on your feet. Step into the ball. Now this ball I think on the paddle today is a Dura ball. So the Dura ball probably will shoot to you faster and stay lower. I think Gordon says, I like a, a higher bouncing ball that it's going to be on this wood wood paddle. So this one is a Dura ball. He gave this one to me, so I can work a, work with it a, with a Dura ball. But the Dura ball shoots back at you faster. Let's try some backhand. You can also alternate between forehand and backhand. Do a couple alternate, alternate shots. Well, the other thing I can tell you, Gordon, even though, even though I'm a pro, is I'm a little winded after a while. You got a great workout from this. So if you're looking to get off the couch in these crazy times, I know we're coming through it though, thank God. You can use your Slam Master to get yourself a great workout. It's funny, I, the other day, um, one of the ladies that I was introducing her to this uh, uh, paddle, she said, you know, I started working with the Slam Master after he, after he gave it to me. She says, I'm getting a great workout from this. I didn't expect I can. So I think that's a, another great advantage of this training, training device. So what else can we do? We did drive shots. We can also work on lobs, believe it or not. Again, you gotta use a little creativity, drop it in front of you, extend your arm up and out. A lob, up and out. Up and out. Backhand, pendulum up and out. Make sure you're bending your knees to get underneath the ball. We can also work on our serves from back here. All right, so. We know a progressive warm-up, we usually would have two players and the other player after I was done would go and work on their shots. Today, since we only have the practice training device, that's pretty much what our progressive warm-up would look like with our Slam Master practice training paddle. What a smart invention.